can't live in motels forever. <laughs> I'm hoping that something comes together. I don't know. Thousands of wildfire victims forced out of their homes in paradise are still stuck with no place to live and in the middle of a severe housing shortage. Three California wildfires in the last two months destroyed more than 20,000 structures. The state's most deadly and destructive wildfire ever was the campfire. CBS 13's Jamie Yukas shows us it is now nearly impossible for evacuees to find a place to live. I lost everything that I've had. <laughs> Pictures. Pictures I could never replace. I mean, a part of me feels really selfish for just wishing I would have saved something. <laughs> would have ran out with something. Tabitha Brewster and her two daughters are starting over from scratch. Their home was one of the nearly 14,000 destroyed in the campfire. Did you have any homework or no? The family is using money from FEMA to move from motel to motel. Brewster wants to keep the girls in their school, so for now, she drives them an hour each way. But she'd hope to find a permanent home nearby. There's nothing to be had. There's no place to live. We're not equipped to uh, negotiate a disaster like this. Ed Mayer is the executive director of the Housing Authority of Butte County. As of the date of the crisis, there might be a thousand units in Butte County that were available. All of those units are spoken for now. California was already facing a housing shortage of almost a million and a half units. With the loss of tens of thousands of homes to wildfires, the state is simply unable to absorb new homeowners. Mayor says this disaster could triple the number of homeless people in his county to 6,000. We're playing musical chairs with housing. It takes someone to move out of a unit for someone to secure a unit. So uh, everyone's just waiting. What do you do in a situation like this? Well, the difficulty is is finding viable alternatives, bringing in FEMA uh, manufactured housing units, finding family or friends to live with. There's so many struggles these folks have to face. Yeah. You can't even imagine. Now, FEMA has approved roughly $27 million in housing grants for campfire survivors and plans to bring in 1,300 temporary homes. But Mayor says rebuilding Paradise is likely going to take 10 to 20 years.